Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Skylum Software have released update six of Luminar Neo. In my opinion, this is the most significant update for Luminar Neo released so far. In it are two new features that many of us have been clamoring for for some time. In today's video, I'm simply going to process this image and along the way, I'll be able to introduce those two new features to you. This is a totally unprocessed RAW file. I'm in the edit panel and I want you to take note of the develop tool. It says develop RAW because it's a RAW file. And I'm going to process it like I normally would. I'll open up the develop tool. It's a, it's a little bit overexposed. So I'm gonna bring exposure down. And then I'm going to open up shadows. And then I'm gonna rein in the highlights so I could see the sky a little bit. Now I want to get a white and black point. One of my complaints with previous versions of Luminar Neo that there was no real way to get a white and black point. You just had to eyeball it. Well, one of the new features is a histogram. And along with the histogram comes clipping indicators. So to activate the histogram, go up to the view menu and then down to show histogram. And if you hover over the histogram, you'll see a little circle on the left and right appear. Those circles are the clipping indicators and you could activate them individually if you want to at activate the histogram for the shadows, click here, highlights there, or to activate them both, just hit the J key on your keyboard and you'll activate the clipping indicators. And you could see I'm already clipping some of the highlights. If you look up here, you can see I have some red up here in the sky. If I go to the whites slider and I move it to the right, you'll see I'll start to clip it more so. You can see all the red up there. Uh, similarly, if I go to the black slider and move that to left, you could see eventually I'll get blue on the screen. That means I'm crushing those shadows. I'm starting to clip those. So let's just adjust this very quickly. I'm not, all right. So I'm clipping the sky a little bit. So that's one new feature. That is the histogram. And along with the histogram come clipping indicators. To turn off the clipping indicators, hit the J key on your keyboard again. So that's that. Now I made you note that this develop tool says raw because this is a raw file. I'm gonna close it down. Now it doesn't say raw anymore. Well, I could add another instance of the develop tool. We always could do this in Luminar Neo, right? So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna open up that. But what's new here is it now has this masking tool. Click on that. And in that masking tool, what is new is AI mask. Click on that and what will happen is Luminar Neo will examine the photo and the scene and find elements in the photo. Uh, it found human, well, it probably found two humans. It found the sky, it found flora, it found architecture, it found natural ground, and it found man-made ground. Well, let's go to natural ground. I'm gonna click on that. And when I do that, eventually you'll see a red overlay and it found it's basically the grass. Then I could go to adjustments and I could just adjust that. Look, okay. So in this case here, I just want to make the grass a little, a little bit brighter. Let's just say, all right. Now let's say I want to do something with the sidewalk, the man-made ground. Well, to do that, we need another instance of the develop tool. So just close this down, then reopen it, go to masking again, go to the AI mask. Now it does it relatively fast fast, go to the man-made ground, click on that, and you'll see that eventually an overlay will appear there, and it, it has basically the sidewalk. Go to adjustments, and just for the sake of this discussion, let's make that darker. So you can see now it has masking, but the masking isn't limited to the develop tool. It's in, I believe, all the tools. Now I haven't gone through all of them individually, but let's just say I wanna to go to structure AI. I go to masking here, I go to the AI mask, it found, I wanna do the architecture, that's the building in the background, we'll go to adjustments, and I want to increase the structure of the building, and we'll boost it even. Just like that, I mean, it's just really, really cool. If we go to color, right, and I go to masking, and I go to the AI mask, let it find its stuff. It found, I want to go to the sky. You can see it finds the sky. It didn't find it in here, but it's, it's I guess, a tool in development a little bit. We'll go to HSL. We'll go to luminance, and we'll go to blue. 
And we'll bring the blues down, bring the cyan down. And we'll go to saturation and make the blue more saturated. So you could see how this new AI masking is uh, something that I think is rather unique to Luminar Neo. And I think something that once it's kind of refined and developed a little more, could be something that would really help us be able to uh, get really nice edits on our image. Um, I don't know, we could go through, let's say if I go to uh, Super Contrast, Masking, AI Mask, I don't know what I want to add contrast to, I really didn't think this through. Go to Adjustments, and, uh, whoops, I wanted to do Masking yet, I didn't pick what I want to mask. Um, let's uh, pick the architecture again and then go to adjustments and then add some highlight contrast, some medium con mid tones contrast, and so on. I think that's good for now. But you can see how this is something that I think is pretty significant uh, and um, something that I think many of us were waiting for because. Those of you that have followed the development of Luminar Neo and the hype that they um, talked about before it was even released, this um, type of masking was talked about and hyped up before the product was ever released. It just wasn't available at the beginning. Now it's finally available. So that's it. I'm going to be doing more videos on this once I get more familiar with it and work with it a little more. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.